Welcome back to the Wallet Podcast. I'm James Marshall, and this episode is brought to you by our awesome partners. Firstly, Straight Face Razors, who have been satisfying our listeners, who have taken the 50% off discount and given the sharpest five blade razor a go. Wow, well done to you guys. If you're in need of a new razor, make sure you head over to wallet.com. Click the straight face logo and receive your discount. Also, Todd's Racing have helped the podcast out massively just because Regan Todd is an absolute lad. So if you're a lad or even if you're not, go give Todd's Racing a follow on Facebook or Twitter. That'd be much appreciated. Also, if you're keen to help the podcast directly, go and get yourself some Waterlad coffee, some super popular merch or some Pure Sport CBD and all the information is on waterlad.com. Anyway, let's get to this episode today. Let's roll the intro. So anyway, I've got a star-started panel on to select this side, starting with an NRL guru and a Super Rugby star, Jackson Garden Bashit. Welcome, Jacko. Cheers, Dara. Good to be back. Great to have you back. You shared a lot of great knowledge in the rugby union side, so looking forward to it being switched over and sharing your knowledge in the league with the league boys. Yeah, man, another enjoyable side to pick. Um, some players that I wish I picked in my team that the other boys selected as well, so... Mm. Looking forward to a bit of debate. Oh, can't wait. The next guest, he is a Hurricanes <laughs> legend and the man known for his chat, Chippy's chat. It is the great Liam Mitchell. Welcome, Chip. Thanks for having me, Jimmy. What an honour. Mate, what, what are you going to add to the panel today? <laughs> Probably my lack of um, NRL <laughs> uh, knowledge. <laughs> you're just coming in from a pure uh... pundit's point of view, aren't you? Just You're a keyboard warrior coming in to just... Share your opinion. <laughs> Speaking of warriors, though, we've got a code hopping expert who's come on to share his genuine league knowledge. It is the Warriors star, and now he's carving it up in the Wellington club scene. It is Charlie Garb. Welcome, brother. Uh, thanks, man. Uh, long term listener. <laughs> Mate, what <laughs> what are you gonna what are you gonna add to the panel today? I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I don't know. Uh, probably not too much of, um, of any value, but um, we'll see how it goes. Surely a little bit of insight to the to the league boys that you've played with over the years. Yeah, yeah, probably some insight into them, but I'm not too sure about the positional play in Union, so we'll just play it as it goes. Oh, mate, between us, I think we might be able to come up with a pretty good team. Okay, anyway, but the, te- the teams are all in. Um, we've all had a good look at each other's teams. There were some tough decisions. Um, the rules are going to be, obviously because it's hard going from league to rugby, uh, the scrums will be golden oldie scrums, so uncontested scrums. Um, lineouts will be as normal, but this side will get 12 months to prepare for a Super Rugby Trans-Tasman. Um, so they've got a pretty decent preseason to learn the ins and outs of um, rugby union. So I think they're going to put a pretty strong side in um, to be playing in this Super Rugby Trans Tasman next year. And the rules for us: you get one power play. Um, other than that, it's majority rules. Power play means that your guy will be selected in that spot, and his name will be on the back of that numbered jersey. And they'll be going for sale again. So go get yourself a what a lad. Super Rugby League jersey. Oh, they sold actually really well, way better than the merch. So, um, hence why we're here doing it again to try and make a buck. But we will start off at fullback. Okay, three guys have gone for Tommy Turbo. I've obviously gone Ponga, so I'm going to give you my reasons in a minute. But you've got to convince us that it shouldn't be Turbo. That's true. So you you've all gone Turbo. This is why I don't think Turbo should be at fullback. I I think he's a dead set certainty to be in the squad because he is on absolute fire. He's carving up the NRL at the moment. But my concerns with him at fullback is his kicking game. Not sure if anyone can convince me he is a great kicker of the ball. I feel like teams will be able to trap him back there. So I've gone for Ponga because of his kicking game. I think that's going to be the difference between him and Turbo. Very good under the high ball. His counter-attack is obviously electric footwork. You don't want to be... Um, sending up a jagged defensive line with Ponga back there. His footwork will cut holes. And I think he'd be comfortable slotting in at first receiver, um, 
playing a two-sided playmaker sort of role if need be. Um, they're my reasons, and that's why I think he should be selected ahead of Turbo. Is there, have I changed anyone's mind? Mm, not, not for me. Not really mine. May, maybe only because of the kicking, but apart from that. Only the, kick, months. only the kicking is a huge months. part of the game. But I think it'd be more effective at centre. You see him at centre uh, for New South Wales. Um, he's really good decision maker, whether to hit the short or long ball, things like that. He's a great passer. And you let him get on the outside, jeez, he is dangerous. But I can see why you played him at fullback. But I, I did consider him at, at centre as well. But just the way all teams play with 10 and 15 and the two playmaker roles, I feel like he'll get his hands on the ball a lot more um, in general play. Do you want him that close to the ruck, though? Which, which I like. Well, he'd be behind that second group of forwards, wouldn't he? Oh, would he? Mm, okay. Most of the time. Okay. Fair enough. First Proven in origin, he, he doesn't mind a hit up as well. No, he does not. Well, we did select Geordie Barrett at fullback for the league side pretty much because he is turbo junior, so um, it's only fitting that he <laughs> goes to fullback for the union side. So the first man selected in the Woodleg side is Tom Travojevic. Welcome, Tom. <laughs> live cross Welcome to Tom. <laughs> get, his, get, a, get his live reaction. <laughs> Where's <We're... laughs> Salisi to do an impression? <laughs> okay, the next Good one. On. Uh, 14, right wing. Two guys have gone, Roger Tovasa Shek, who we're going to see in Union shortly, so we'll get a real good glimpse. Um, Jacko's gone, Teddy, James Tedesco, one of the game's greats. And Liam Mitchell, you've gone Latrell, who most guys have got in the midfield. But at the moment, it's going to be RTS, unless Jacko or Chippy can convince us otherwise. Jacko, you start, Teddy. Oh, I just had to have him in the team. And I want a turbo at 15, that's the only reason. Yeah, he's just dangerous. Mm. It's hard to argue against RTS, though, because he's going to be a gun right winger um, in Union probably next year. But, yeah, couldn't have Tedesco out of the 15, really. Fair enough. He is a gun. I, I did find it hard to leave out, but um, just couldn't find room for him, for him, eh? What about you, Chip? I just, yeah, I had Roger at centre, so I went Latrell on the wing. Mm. Just a big, strong finisher. Um, that's pretty much why I went for him. I just needed him in the team somewhere. Mm. So, so you, you both sound pretty happy yeah, to have RTS as our right winger. Yeah, I'll take him. Yeah. Okay. Nah, it's safe. RTS is in. Congratulations, Roger. Looking forward to seeing you play, <laughs> play in the 15-man code shortly. Okay, 13. This is going to be tough. I right, Turbo, he's gone. Jack, you had Gutho. Chippy had Roger. He's gone. And Gubby had Latrell, who two guys have at 12. So, whew. what do we do here? Hey, what do we do there? You need to think wisely about it because I might be using my power play later on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, okay. So, so, who is it out of? Because Turbo and RTS are gone. Correct. So, it's out of Gutho or Latrell. But hang on. We can go to our 12. We can go to our midfield combo here. So we've got Whiten, Luai, Latrell, Latrell at 12. So um, Latrell's one of our midfielders. It's just who he partners with. So we could go with the Latrell Gutho combo. Jacko, you can talk about that one. Or Chip, you can talk about the Luai Latrell combo. And Gabby, you can go um, Whiten, Latrell. I'll speak on Gutho. I, oh, okay, go. Yeah, sweet. No, I just um, Gutho's a, a very smart player. I think at the uh, the back for Parramatta, he's not like the game breaking fullbacks that um, all the other teams have, but he's always sort of um, in the attacking play at the right end. Um, very good defender. I think he's smart and behind there as well. So I thought thought he'd be a good link. Obviously, I had Latrell at twelve, who's the power dude, and then I thought Gutho would be sort of that good glue between him and. The guys outside. Mm. Conrad Smith like do you do you see him as? Yes, snaky esque. Mm. Okay, I like it. And obviously Latrell's big left foot, oh, that'll come in handy. And I'd imagine he'll get some pretty good guaranteed gain line off launches with the ability to play out of the back as well. So I do like Latrell at twelve. Um the other two have gone Latrell at thirteen. Um Gabby, Whiten at twelve. 
also like this one. So looking forward to hearing it. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't um, too fussed whether they were twelve or thirteen, but I think they're a good combo. Um, Wyden, obviously, uh, um, a natural centre, but he's he's playing in the halves now and got um, Dali M there. Mm. Um, so even though the Raiders are going pretty cucks this year, I think um, Jack Wyden still, if he was playing centre, he'd be the best centre. Um, Latrell, everyone knows Latrell. I think he's he's um, He's a game breaker. There's no one really, you know, he he, he beats anyone one on one. So um, I don't know. I just think Jack White in at, at twelve is good to be the kicking option. Mm. I, don't, I don't. I just remember when the All Blacks did they have Bowden and um, Dan Carter at, at ten and twelve. They're both kicking options, but Jack Jack White is a real good running option too, and he hit he, no one hits harder than him in the backs. Mm. So I just reckon that they complement each other well, but. I'm not too fast as long as uh, Jack Whiten's in there somewhere. Jeez, I like that, oh, Gabby. Oh, you, you've <laughs> sold me up the Whiten train. No one hits harder than him. Jeez. I remember Nani telling me that, actually, that Whiten was a real good hitter. Like He remembered it, him playing at a young age or something, and he was just smoking guys. He's a fucking big dude. Is he? Yeah, yeah. He's a, he's a he, look, he looks like a second row out there. Mm. What about you, Chip? Last one. Luai, you've gone for the... Double playmaker, the smaller guy, defensively not as strong, but phew, light it up on attack. I've, Liam, I've got you? more the like more the Luai Cleary combo rather than the twelve thirteen. Oh, I'm yeah. happy with Roger at thirteen, but I've sort of got Luai just out the back of the um, out the back of the one of the group of forwards there. Just good organizer, can mm-hmm. kick, also can run. So I sort of went that Luai Cleary combo mm-hmm. rather than the Luai midfielder, but. <clears throat> Yeah, I like his kicking game as well. His left footer too, eh? Left footer. And I like how he just, if he sees a picture, he takes it, you know? Yeah. I think it would go so, good. Mm. I'm happy with Lua. So. Well, three great options. I'm potentially leaning towards Whiten after those sales points. But I do like Latrell at, the big the big I do like Latrell at 12. But um, I'd be happy to push him out one. So. You, can, you can always swap them around. There's, I'm not too fussed. Mm, I, but That's I, not my teammate. So. <laughs> it is your team. It's a quarter of your team. <laughs> what about it's you? Our team, man. We're going to find the, the best option. What about you, Jacko? I, I did enjoy Charlie's white and argument. Mm. <laughs> really open to a power play this one if anyone wants to take it. Yeah, I'll, I'll power play white in it at um, 12. Oh, there but we yes, go. Oh, but that's thing I'm early too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's in. Latrell, 13. Whiten. Congratulations, you two men. They'll be proud. Jackie big, boy. Big day for them. Okay, left wing. Two guys have gone at O'Carr, the fox, the fastest man on the earth. Jacko, you have gone. Daniel Tupo. Daniel Tupo. Nice yes. option. And I have gone... Body. Valentine Holmes. So let's hear your one first, Jacko. We've got to try and convince one guy to change their Addo Car opinion. Um, oh, to be, I thought about um, Addo Car, but I just thought he was a bit of a one trick pony, real quick. But I think you need a bit, a bit more than that when you're playing Union. I think you need a bit of size when you're on the wing. Quite often, your first phase kept ball carrier and you need to be solid defensively. So I like Daniel Tupo. I think he's unreal at the edge of the Roosters. Mm. Um, and I think he'd be a dangerous strike option, first phase, offset piece. Very nice. Like that. Okay, I've gone Valentine Holmes. Mate, speaking of first phase strikes, geez, imagine Valentine it's Holmes coming down your channel. <laughs> Gee, straight to the winger. He is electric, hard man to tackle. But what I think he's better about the other two, Ado Carr and Dan Tupo, is his ability to kick and catch. I mean, under the high ball. I mean, they're... All pretty good under the high ball, but um, Valentine Holmes is. I'd be comfortable him getting up under anything, and it's the kicking option he has for when teams try and pepper us in the backfield, which a lot of teams will will do against this league side. I'd imagine. So I feel like we need to prepare a little bit better, especially with Turbo back there. Um, he might be looking for Valentine Holmes to bail him out a few times to to get his. What he got? What a fifty meter drop goal the other day, mate. He can kick. He he can kick from anywhere. <laughs> 
and he's a good defender. So um, he's obviously had experience swapping codes as well. He's played NFL, so it's nothing new to him trying to pick up a new sport. So I feel like he'd adapt really well to it. But um, obviously, you guys have both chosen Addo Car, two Fords, so, might I say. Any? Have we convinced <laughs> any of you? I just I like the way the fox chases kicks. Kick chase. And, oh, and, yeah. I, and I don't mind him just being an out speedster on that wing, just <clears throat> finishing tries. And I don't mind how he um, starts off a few sets as well, with those big mm. runs he does. So I think he's more than just a one-trick pony there, Jacko. Yeah, I, I think he can yeah. he can well, carry hard. Well you to say that, yeah. Hey, man, I'm trying to sell Daniel here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you two are convinced? Geez, he scores some tries too. Mm. No changes from you two? <laughs> I feel like Daniel uh, Tupo didn't, didn't get that. Mm. Thanks, Gabby. <laughs> <laughs> Did it change your vote, though? Nah, nah, you lost me. <laughs> yeah, I dropped off from 50 hours. That's not what we want our team doing. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we're down by two, we do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, true. Okay. Congratulations, the Fox. <laughs> Addo Car is in. Now, the next one at 10. Usually one of the toughest positions to pick, but we have all agreed potentially the best player in the game at the moment or arguably two behind Turbo, um, probably. Um, Nathan Cleary <coughs> is at 10. Everyone's picked him. Anyone want to go into reasons why they picked him? Bit of a no-brainer, but... Yeah, no-brainer. I just can't believe that he's 23 or 24. Yeah, crazy, eh? So yeah. good. Him and Turbo, both younger than me, and they're both two of my favourite players now. It's a bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> Most guys are younger than you, aren't they? <laughs> hey, man. Not, I'm like halfway. I'm like the middle man. <laughs> you're the link. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in that grey area. <laughs> yeah. Okay, next one. This is our first 50-50 split. Me and Jacko have both gone Harry Grant, the wizard. And Gabby and Chip have both gone for Damien Cook, the speedster. Jacko, you want to sell the Harry Grant dream for the boys? I just like the way he plays. I like how um, it's quite confrontational. He loves getting out from the ruck when there's when quick ball. Mm. Um, and not afraid to take the line on. Uh, and he also distributes well. When when it, when Cam Munster and Jerome Hughes won it, so mm-hmm. I think he's got a pretty good all round game. Um, he hasn't had to kick much for the Storm, so I haven't seen much of that, but I'm sure he can. Yeah, I feel like he'd probably kick the ball better than Damien Cook. Yeah, it's hard to know. Both of them have kicking halves in their mm-hmm. team, so I've just seen Harry Grant do some box kicks at training, and <laughs> wow. <laughs> on, that on the Instagram story the other day, actually. <laughs> okay, it's in who, Melbourne with rugby bricks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, who wants to sell the Damien Cook dream? Chippy, go on. Yeah, I've just gone Cook. I've gone Damien Cook because he just seems a little bit nippier and a little bit faster. I'm not sure if it's tr- like if it is right or not with the stats. I've I've gone Harry Grant on the bench purely because of what Jackson said. I I just want to come on and finish that last twenty run a bit more in the last sort of 20, 30 where I want um, Damien Cook just getting to the ruck quick and letting Cleary loose, let that back line loose rather than running it too much at the start. So that's why I've got Cook. Start and Grant off the, on the bench. Mm. I've sort of swapped them around. So I've got, it, me and Jacko both got Cook off the bench, but pretty much for those reasons, I feel like Cook would be more of the runner. He'd yeah. be quick to the ball. He'd get that ball away really quickly. Obviously, he's, he's incredibly fast and a dangerous runner around the fringes where I feel like Harry Grant would probably be a bit more controlled with um, with his pass, running game and defence to start the game. So um, what about you, Gabby? Anything to add there? Yeah, I think um, if I had my time again, I probably would go Grant at nine. <laughs> um, and he could go off the bench. I was, I was, I was struggling in the half so <laughs> Well, I that's... had a bit of a brain freeze with him again now, so I'm just going to... Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's damn good honesty from you so Harry Grant has earned congratulations to Harry and his family um, number 8 Jacko me and you are similar we're on the same page a lot we've both gone for Fita big David for Fita absolute beast 
Chippy, you've gone a loose one here. Katoni Stags. I didn't think about too many backs as becoming forwards, but I'm looking forward to hearing that. And Gabby, the big cacao, the beast. <coughs> Take us away, Chips. Try and convince us. One of us need to change yeah. our vote. I've got a real looseness, um, something different. I think he sort of reminds me of what um, Artie, would, Artie would be like if he played league on the edges there. Um, <laughs> He's got good skills. If, if you were to play him on an edge in that sort of a one three three one shape, he'd be good on an edge, and he'd also be good through the middle, taking on your props and stuff. I think his skill set and that would help that. And he's also like a powerful runner, so wherever on the field he's running, he's not going to be he's not going to be at a loss. Yeah, off the back of the scrum as well, I reckon he'd be dangerous. Mm. So, so I've gone him. Not the worst chap. I like it. Gabby, mm. kick out. Yeah, kick out. Um, no, I've just always liked him. I, I think it'd be a good eight. Just he's very one on one. I think like um, off the back of a scrum, it'd be um, it would take more than the flanker and halfback to um, do the damage to him. So I mm. think it'd be good good on that. And then what um, Chipper said about that one three three one, which I'm not too familiar with, but I'm guessing could be the one on the edge. And you know, I wouldn't be really want to be the one marking up on him. But for feeder, equally the same. So. Um, yeah, no hard feelings if you go up a feet. I just think um, key cow is equally as damaging with the ball. Mm. Um, and, he, and he hits hard too again. Oh, he's, he's tried to sell the old hit hard again. <laughs> oh, you almost got me. It's harder than anyone. <laughs> it's harder than any forward in the game. <laughs> well, I, I agree with both of you. I think they're all good options, but I just feel like Fafita is just bigger and stronger and potentially faster. Maybe not faster than Stags, but um, he's just upper level on all of them and sort of those tackle breaking abilities and he's just a freak i reckon what about you jacko yeah i can't sway from fafita i mean he he toys with players um a lot of the time um see some of those early rounds when he was just tapping and going from 10 out and sort of just swatting three guys away and putting the ball down like, yeah i wouldn't want that coming around at me from number eight off the back of a scrum Nah, pass i'm defending in the wide channel asap <laughs> yeah <laughs> the blind there <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but like you say, he does make it men against boys sometimes in the NRL, so um, I'd be looking forward to seeing him play in Super Rugby Trans-Tasman for the Willard League side, so congratulations to David Fafita and his family. Um, seven, this is a good one because we've all gone separate <laughs> ones. So I've gone Cameron Murray. Jacko, you've gone Angus Crichton. Chippy, you've gone another back. You love the backs and the forwards. Connor Watson. <laughs> And Gabby, you've gone Brandon Smith, the cheese. All good options. Looking forward to hearing about them all. Start with you, Connor Watson, Liam Mitchell. Yeah, I was struggling to find a seven. I um, I did. I've gone Murray on my bench as well, who I also wouldn't mind starting. But I think he's a, uh, from what I've seen on his social media, he looks like a pretty stacked dude. So looks sort of big enough. He sort of gives me that dupe, dupe Cariffi vibe about him. <laughs> um, he seems like he'd be a nugget over the ball. He um. Goes hard as well, which good sevens do. Ta- heaps of tackles, heaps of carries and that. So, yeah, I sort of went for an explosive dude there. Nice. Good argument. Like it. Jacko? Angus Crichton? Um, tough as hell. He's a workhorse. He, always, he plays 80 every week. Um, tons of carries, tons of tackles. And, yeah, I just think he's that, that tough seven that we want on our side. Mm. Um, cut his finger off so that he could keep playing league. So, yeah, I think he would do anything for the boys. Mm, nice. I've got him at six, to be fair. I know I know he's got a lot of rugby union background. He is an Australian schoolboy star, so um, no problems with him crossing codes. So um, I agree with a lot of your points there, but I've I found a place for him at blindside flanker. I've gone Cameron Murray, who, mate, massive fan of Cam Murray. Fast, strong, tough, and he just... His body shape just looks like he would be really niggly over the ball. He's got that sort of hunch in his back, and he's relatively short. And like, I feel like he would be the jackal king out of the NRL. So um, for that, those are the reasons I've gone. Cam Murray, absolute workhorse. He can he can he makes fifty tackles. I mean, works no issues for him. He's definitely my seven. But um, one more, you've gone the cheese, Gabby. Who everyone else has gone at hooker. So. Convince us to get him to seven. Yeah, I think um, I think the cheese is too small for I got him at um, seven. He's just 
100 miles an hour from the get-go. Mm. Um, no one hits harder. Um, <laughs> he, <laughs> no, nah, he, he just, he, he's a real dog on the field. You know, he's got that C next Tuesday in him and he's, you know, you, I don't know. He's just like that seven that every ruck could be in your face mm. um, over the ball. You know, he's, I don't know, I thought he was a no-brainer at seven, but I was um, <laughs> around the back of the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, like to be fair, if three of us didn't have him at hooker, I reckon he would be our seven after that. Like he needs to be in the team somewhere. I agree with all those points. Um Golden Oldies might save him with his weight um at hooker, so we we should still get the benefit of having him on the field, even if he's at hooker on the edge again and it may be a one three three one. But it's gonna happen, boys. Our play. <laughs> <laughs> Cam Murray is in. Oh, that's special, man. That's something else. Congratulations oh, to Cam Murray and his family. Okay, six. Crichton at six for me. Papali'i. Yeah, I saw her. I saw her. Um, Fafita, Chippy, he's in the team. And Tarek Sims. Oh, looking forward to hearing this one. Crichton, I've gone Crichton for the reasons we've already talked about. Um, Gabby, Tarek Sims, talk to me. Yeah, Tarek Sims, but uh, I feel like all our ball carriers at the moment, our forwards are, you know, they got late footwork and offload and stuff like that. Maybe that's not ideal when you're looking to clean out. So mm. Tarek Sims is that guy you go to to, to set off. He's uh, no nonsense. You know he he's a rock surrounded by rock stars, so I think oh. I think every team needs that sort of guy. And um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I, I could be sold on other ones, but I think he, he, he'd be a good six. You know, he's just mm. he's just no nonsense. Got a bit of Ethan Blackadder about him. Oh, mate, if if you're talking Ethan <laughs> Blackadder, I'm signing. <laughs> Jimmy's oh, favorite player, mate. It's how, his favorite player. How good is he? You you've done your research. Who to compare players to? <laughs> Mate, I'm I'm happy, but I mean, Jacko, you've obviously got Crichton. You had him at seven, and Papaliti at six. So you've got options to either go either of those two now. Oh, yeah. I, when Crichton wasn't seven, I'd probably want him to be six. Mm. I think he fits a similar mold to what you're talking to with Tarek Sims as well. Like I think he does have the attacking upside, but I still think at the end of the day, he's a, he's a like. He can be a hit man. He can be the enforcer we want him to be. Um, and he probably won't have to be much else because we've got that much razzle around the rest of the Ford pack. So. Mm. He's sort of Ethan Blackadder-like as well, isn't he? Yeah. If I was going to compare him to anyone, <laughs> Blackadder probably. Okay. <laughs> okay. Congratulations, Angus. You are at blindside with two votes. Okay. At five... We've got two Tinos. Faso Malawi. Myself and Gabby have him. Um, Ryan Madison for Jacko. Good shout. And Isaiah Yao for you, Chip. I actually want um, Big Nelson at five as my big tight headlock. If we're going to get specific on it, but... <laughs> yeah. I don't even know what that means. No, okay. <laughs> I also agree. I think he's definitely our tight headlock. Um, yeah, if that's a thing, yeah, he should be. Yeah. I didn't know it was five, so Nelson is at five. Because we've all got Nelson. He's two metres. He was a rugby union star, like we said. Like He can hit. He can carry. Or he'd be a tough man in that pack. Potentially the biggest hitter, eh, Gabby? I don't know. He'd be up there. <laughs> and he would be a great man to have you behind in the scrum, wouldn't he, Chip? You tell me about that. Not sure. Wow. Well... I'd hope so. I've never played prop. But... No, but you know how important it is to <laughs> push. Just... Yeah, wow. Well, it... All um, Tyrell cares about is how heavy you are, so if he's a heavy dude, he'd be sweet. Well, he's very heavy. How heavy is he, Gabby? Uh, you know, he'd be um, a buck 20, buck 30 easy. Mm. I couldn't believe he was two yeah, metres. I thought he was shorter than that. Like, that's massive. You got a widescreen TV? <laughs> No, I'm on my laptop. <laughs> Microvision. <laughs> okay, now we'll get to the loose headlock. Sorry, Chip. Uh, number four. 
Two of us have Tino. Jacko has Madison, Ryan Madison, and Chippy, Isaiah Yao. Who wants to try and convince myself or Gubby to go away from Tino? Who is a metre 97, which I couldn't believe either. I thought he was way more of a nugget, but he is a big boy. Yeah, I've gone Isaiah purely on his uh, ball playing. I like him at the back, um, playing at the back of stuff, and I think he's a workhorse as well. So, yeah, that's pretty much why I've gone to him. He's actually, like, if you could go like for like, he is you in league. Like, you and him are very similar, <laughs> no aren't way. you? Work rate, Bro, that's ball uncanny. playing, uncanny. That. No. If you shave your head a bit shorter, Jesus, would get confused. <laughs> I've gone him. <laughs> I like the way he plays. Yeah, no, nah, fair enough, no doubt. He's um, the glue. He's the key to that. He is the glue in that Panthers team, mate. Eh? Mm. Jacko? Um, I've got Madison, obviously. It's probably the opposite of Chippy, just another worker. Um, I think Nelson will be there ball playing, offloading, lock of the two. So I think Maddo will be um, a good worker for us. Also, he measures in at a metre. 98 actually so no he's not it's a yeah <laughs> you can't be making up stats to get him in the team <laughs> hey but i i think meadow is quite razzly with his offload and stuff you you have him a worker i'm a little bit worried about but he won't be, HIAs he won't be a, with me as the tech coach yeah fair enough Jose, yo's one on six i think yeah you're right 195 centimeters yeah, that's why I just went for um, Tino. I thought those two centimetres, which I couldn't believe that he was taller than him, might be handy come line-out time for an inexperienced um, line-out side. But did anyone change their opinions or a few power I'm going to power play that, I think, Jabba. Hey, oh, go on, give us the <laughs> siren. <laughs> 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 Gee. Like oh, okay. Yeah, that's controversial. That is against two votes. That's a strong power play you've used. Oh, Tino is hard done by, but congratulations to very, Isaiah. He is very hard done by there. But maybe we'll find a spot for him in the bench. And it will definitely oh, yeah, true. help me out with spelling on the back of the shirts, which is always handy. <laughs> So thanks. <laughs> We've gone from a thousand letters to three. Very good. Okay, number three. Three of us have gone for the Kiwi legend Jason Talmalolo, and Liam Mitchell. You have gone for Papa Lee. Yeah, I'm happy with um, Tamalolo as well. To be fair, I just I, was, I really struggled with the front rowers. Mm. Fair enough. It is hard when when you're thinking scrums and things like that. You'd be crazy not to have Taumalolo as a oh, as a prop. Gee whiz. Yeah. Okay, congratulations yeah. to Taumalolo. Um, hooker, three of us have the cheese, and Gabby, you've gone for Papali'i. Which one are we talking here? Um, Josh. Josh, yeah. Yeah, because I obviously had he's at seven. Yeah. Um, which I think is his preferred position. Um, I seen an interview like. You guys want to play him out of position and, uh, you know, mess with him a bit, but that's all right. So we'll go cheese at cheese at two, and I'll have um, Papa somewhere else. Okay. Brandon Smith, congratulations. I guess the thing about him is he is a very good line-out thrower, and he looks like, not so much now, but when Dane Coles was younger, him and Dane Coles were identical. It was it's weird how much they looked alike. Coles has obviously aged a haircut, bit. Eh? Yeah, the haircut when Colsey had his longer hair. <laughs> but he is and Colsey started off as a small hooker too. Like he was under a hundred kgs. Um I think we could get the cheese because he's playing big minutes at hooker, he's he's shredding, but um once we get him twelve months into um Davy Gray's size program i feel like we could get him to 110 clicks easy and throwing darts like <laughs> like no one else so i'm looking forward to seeing where we can take the side brandon smith right on okay last position in the starting lineup we've all gone the big pain huss at prop and what a beast he is except for gubby you've gone junior paulo yeah because um Remember a couple of years ago, he played a union game with a headgear on, and he played prop. 
so he's got experience there. Mm. Um, that's the only reason I picked him there. Um, Payne Haas is good too, but I reckon he'd be a good uh, a good Lucy off the bench. Oh, okay. Uh, unlucky. What did he play a game for? Club, club rugby. Yeah, club league game. He got. On, I think he got fined about twenty grand. Oh, what for playing uh, union? Club union game. Oh, true. Yeah, well, because it was um, contract. They played a Friday game at Raiders, and then he played played on Saturday for his brother's team with a head gear on. Really? That's cool. Yeah. How much did he find? Something like twenty k, something like that. That's a massive fine. Hey. <laughs> if he's not starting, he's got to be on the team for that. Yeah, I right. I just checked, and he's not actually on my bench, but. I'm happy to have him Neither. on the bench. Let's That's come to play, you know? yeah. He's, <laughs> Let he's putting his hand play. up years ago. <laughs> and I mean, the thing with props is it's sort of like a 50-30 split these days with game time. So it's not a huge <clears> difference whether you're starting or coming off the bench. You're going to play a massive role in this side, especially when we're coming up against the Kiwi sides and um, Super Rugby Trans-Tasman. It's going to be hard, fast games. Um, so we're going to have to have every one of our members right on point. So this is when the bench come in. Um, our impact, shall we call them, um, just to get some clear messages across the team early on. But we'll start with number 16 at hooker. We've all gone separate ones. So um, I've gone Jake Travojevic. It'd be good to have him there with his brother. Um, Jacko, you've gone Jazz Tavanga. Chippy, Kenny Bromwich. And Gubby, uh, Fanua Blake. So, um, Jacko, you start with Jazz Tavanga. Um I love the way he comes off the bench for the Warriors. I think he always, whenever he comes on, he sparks boys up, um, gets into his work in the middle, and I think he'll do the same out on the edge. And in, in the 15 aside game, I think he's got good skills, got good enough skills because he plays lock and league every now and then, and also hooker as well. So he's got the skills to throw and um, throw a catch and pass on, on, on the edge as well. So that's why I picked him as impact hooker. Fair enough. It's a good... Good sales point. Line out throwing, happy? As happy as I am with cheese. <laughs> Fair. Okay, Kenny Bromwich. This one was a late change from you, Chippy. You saw something in him. Late change, yeah. I'm, I like his footwork and he's got a similar but build for Colsey, so frick, that's why I've got that. We're just trying to get Colsey's on like the pad. Like <laughs> team, team of Colsey's. <laughs> yeah, I just want a team of Colsey's and I'll be happy. Gabby, now the NRL guru. What have you got for us? Uh, I went for Noel Blake. Mm. I feel like in, I don't know, in Union, the front row forward, they should be playing in the middle in rugby league, you know, playing tough and doing their job. If, you know, if we've got a team of Colsey's, then there's quite a few guys that want to score tries, but you need to go to um, set up guys as well. So I think for Noel Blake, you know, he's he's big, he's scary. Um, he's got a good tip on, um, good pass, which would equate to a good throw in. Um, and yeah, he's, I don't know, he's just that guy that you want to, uh, next to, you know, when, uh, when shit's going down, mm. but, and that's not just for Dan Coles because I'm a big fan of him. Nah, fair enough, because we, obviously two guys, myself and you, Jacko, have Fanua Blake at prop in our reserve, so, um, hear what you say there, Gabby, definitely want him in my side, but whether we lock him in at hooker or go prop, I'm open. Has anyone got a power play left? They want to use it on a hooker. I don't know. Oh, Jake Travojevic. I haven't even got to my one. Now, Jake is tough. He he is he would be your sort of glue. Can ball play, great line out thrower, playing with his brother. They've got a great combination. And now that he's been selected at fullback, that's going to be handy. Um, like you guys said, sniffing around that second pod. Imagine the turbo turbo balls going inside outside again like they do for Manly. So, um, very dangerous coming off the bench for the sort of last 30, 20 minutes, depending how long um, the cheese lasts. But, um, yeah, like I said, impact and just a bit of grit, you know. Um, pretty keen to have him on my side. But all very split opinions, and I liked everyone's points there. I've got Jake at prop, Jabba, so I'm happy to have him on my team as well. But mm. especially with the Golden Oldies scrums. So... We may as well move on to our props before we lock them in so we can sort of lock them in as a three because a lot of them are sort of crossed over. We've got Fanua Blake and Papa Lee. Um, Papa Lee, Fanua Blake, Paulo, Leota, and Haas, but he's, been, he's made it. So, um, 
Do we need to find two more props? Well, we need to choose two props out of uh, out of these four: Fanua Blake, Papa Lee, Paulo, and um, Travojevic. Or either of them could go hooker. We've basically got four to go into three if we're going on the double votes. I think Papa Lee needs to be there somewhere off the bench. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think he has to be there. The only reason I'd go against Travojevic at prop because he's he's small. Yeah, like, I agree. I think he's a hooker. He, I don't know. Like he only like he's a small body. Mm. Like and you might like he can hit hard. Don't get me wrong, he can hit. Hard. <laughs> oh, he's in. <laughs> <laughs> but you might be able to shift him. You know, like shift him around the around the malls and the, and that sort of thing. Yeah. But whereas if there's Fanor Blake standing there, I might not hit that mall. You know. Yeah, you you bang on. I don't think he's a prop to be fair, but. I see him as potentially a hooker, but for Noah Blake and Paulo Papali'i, those three looking for, or does someone see one of them as a hooker? I like for Noah Blake as a prop. Yep. Okay. For Noah Blake is in as a prop. He had, um, he had enough votes there. He's in. Congratulations. Uh, so the next prop would be out of Papali'i or Paulo. So Paulo, we sort of gave him a fake promise that we'd pick him because he, his commitment to union, um, Who's going to have the hard conversation with him one on one if he ends up missing out? Not me. Liam Holland. My vote. Jacob <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Okay>. Gibb. <laughs> so Paulo's in. So that means Papali'i could be our hooker if we see him fit as a hooker. Yeah, I'd love to see that, but it's up to it's up to the guys, you know, if they want to see it. Hmm see that as well i need him in, i need him on the field that yeah last 20, yeah 10, i mean 20 minutes. you two both started him me and jack i have him on the bench so it is only fair okay he's in no concerns and he's a great line out throw and he hits hard <laughs> harder than anyone <laughs> okay 19 we got two tohu harris that's a nice option angus Crichton, he's already gone and pasika Talk to me about this guy, um, Gabby. I didn't see this one coming. Oh, just I've been to the airport a few times and seen like the South African teams, and they're just real big guys, and he kind of fits that mold. He's just a big unit, um, runs hard, just runs straight, plays tight. Um, we've got a lot of guys that play pretty loose, so I reckon he'd, um, he'd bring him on, he'd be in that Brad Meeker mold. Oh, nice comparison. Throwback. Shout out to Brad. No, you're listening, Gordon. <laughs> and we've still, actually, to be fair, we've still got a couple of unlucky locks who missed out on the starting lineup. Tino, in particular, and Ryan Madison. Oh, yeah, I'm happy to see Tino on the bench. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel I'm like Tino, yeah. I feel like he's unlucky. But Tohu Harris, I mean, talk about. I'll be upset if Tohu's gone. Mm. Well, you've got a, you're the only one who can do this because you're the power play, only one left. I do. Gabby has one too, doesn't he? No, Gabby uses oh, no. his oh, gone. No, on yeah, right. I got one. I got one. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we're locking in um, Tino, unless. What's his last name, Jimmy? Fasul Malawi. Fasul yeah. Malawi. That's it, man. Like that, chap. You, Ray <laughs> Warren, give us your rabbits. <laughs> 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 okay. So Tino's in? Yeah. Jacko. So who will be filthy at you? Okay, number 20, reserve loose forward. So I've gone Victor Radley. Imagine him coming off your bench. If you oh. want if you want energy, oh, 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 this man is coming on with abundance of it, bringing all sorts of physicality. Oh, get him on my bench. Two guys have got Cam Murray, who's already made the squad, but um, a couple of you guys missed out. Um, and... <coughs> Crichton, so a few have already made the squad, but the options are sort of uh, Kakao, Watson, Staggs, Tarek Sims, Papa Lee. Are you thinking Radley to cover six, seven, and eight? Or I think we'd do some shifting. Um, I think it'd be a genuine sort of seven or six. And, and just bring Tino in. cover sort of. Tino covering lock, and he could potentially yeah, cover who's, eight. Who's. Um... Oh. Or Crichton, we could move Crichton to eight and have a couple of fetches with Cam Murray and um, Radley. But I I see what you're saying, Chip. Does a <coughs> little bit of a same-same with Cam Murray, but 
Vector, you, I know you love Vector the Inflector. I love Vector. <laughs> I do love Vector. I'm surprised he wasn't in your side and captain. Yeah. I actually forgot about him, to be fair. Yeah, out of sight, out of mind, that sort of thing. Eh? He hasn't been playing for a while, so... What happened to him? He got stood down for pissing up on a plane or something. Is that true? Or... Oh, didn't he... I mean, he got put on report five times in one game when the rules were <laughs> five, five yeah. times in 20 minutes. <laughs> he was yeah. totally in yeah. one. So we'll have to have a few mental skill sessions with him early doors. But I think Luke if we can control that aggression, um, we could get him right on, bringing some real physicality off the bench. But anyone disagree with that or anyone they want to propose? Yeah, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go a bigger body, like... Because Angus Pryder's not in the team, eh? Yes, he's at um, six. Keep up. Alrighty. Um, <laughs> well, anyway, I'd have a bigger body there than um, Radley and that. I feel like Radley and um, Cameron Murray and those guys, they, uh, they play forwards in league, but I think they'd be more of a back. Like, they probably played backs at school. Right? Didn't Murray play, um, wasn't he, didn't he come from Union? And he mm, was a back. Like, he did. Crichton was a midfielder as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah those guys are... He's a, he's a back, so I don't know. It's, a, it's a bit different in rugby league. You have a 10 meter run up, so it's, it's more high speed and that sort of thing. But that close contact, I reckon you need a bigger body. So okay. I'd go, um, I wouldn't have him there. Who are you going? Who would you prefer? Would you prefer Tohu Harris? I prefer Tohu Harris, definitely. With Crichton covering seven? Yeah. yeah. Pocock vibes. <clears throat> Crichton there. Cover seven if he has to. Yeah. Click seven there. <laughs> And just left and right. Yeah, left and right. Mm. Tohu Harris would be like he's leaving him out would be like leaving Rich Millick out, you know, just because there's other good players he's still got to have him there. Man. Yeah, man. well, you've got your wish, Jacko. I'll power play him. I'll power play him in oh, then, yeah. He was in anyway, but he's getting doubled. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use it. I'm not going to waste on the outside back. <laughs> oh, Tohu Harris, great to have you in the squad. Looking forward to working with you. Um, yeah. 21 has been all but confirmed. Damien Cook, unless Gabby, you've got Luai at halfback. Interesting. Yeah. No, I don't want him there anymore. Okay. I want um, Cook. Cook is in. I didn't think about it. That was easy. We've sort of talked about that speed and all the spark he brings off the bench. 22. This is where it gets interesting. Um, like you said, Gabby, you've gone for Cam Murray at reserve inside back. Interesting. Um, Chippy, Munster. I was really tossing up between Munster. Uh, Jacko, you've gone Ponga. Still a little bit gutted. He missed out on my starting squad. Um, I went for Sean Johnson. I just fe feel like um, I I'd like to see him at 10 or even fullback. Uh, just his timing is kicking game pass being able to screw up defenders I, I feel like he'd go really well but um, happy to hear the other guys arguments because I mean Ponga was in my starting lineup so we'll change with um, I'm going with Chippy with Munster yeah um, he's a competitor um, he's, he's an option for everything yeah I, I like Munster there as they were there yeah I like Munster there too it was a real I'll tough one but I like his I like his versatility. Mm. Cover ten, probably twelve, fifteen. Yeah, can kick, can run. Good organizer. Not sure about his goal kicking in the clutch, but if we have Cleary <laughs> still on, yeah. happy day. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, and he seems like an absolute lad. O Teddy Black's just ripping his jersey everywhere. Shout out to Oates, <laughs> um, Jacko Ponga. I uh, I just think he's. One, it would be one of the best tens or one of the best fullbacks um, to cross over. Um, obviously, he came through with Union. Um, I'm pretty sure he played 10 for his school um, before he got picked up. And obviously, he's been a gun fullback now for the last few years in league. So I think he could cover both as good as anyone. Hey, mate, um, where was that when we were picking our starting fullback? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I like the fact that he could cover both. Nah, yeah. <laughs> We're not covering both there. Could you see him on the wing? Like we could potentially go mm -hmm. Ponga outside back, how many? reserve and um, Munster potentially, if that's what we wanted to do. Only other guys we've got less left. Uh, um, who's, our, who's our wingers? 
We've our wingers are Ado Car and Roger. So the guys we've got left uh Teddy, Saab, Sivo, um, Holmes. So a couple of loose options. I'd be nervous about I'd be nervous about midfield cover if we went Munster Ponga. Yeah, I feel like we'd um, chuck RTS into thirteen. I'd, I reckon he'd be comfortable there. He's potentially going to play there when he comes over to Union. I started him there. Yeah, so I feel like he I would be our Roger thirteen cover. Uh, Munster would be our twelve cover, um, and Ponga outside backs, and potentially ten. So I'm not. Yeah, whether we would need Munster and Ponga, yeah, I hear. You. I like Saab. I like Saab off the bench. It was close to starting for me, but so far so. So big, but mm. not sure what you guys thought there on that. Well, that turb- now that Turbo's there, geez, he's improved tenfold. So um, in in league at the moment, so Turbo's at fullback. It's the co- keep the combination. I see what you're doing there, Chip. You're a smart man. I can't forgive him for the start of the year. <laughs> yeah, me neither. <laughs> I, he was my cash cow. <laughs> uh, I've still got him. <laughs> Far out. Patience. Um, Gabby, talk to yeah, me about Siva. I don't know. He's a, he's, a, he's a big body. He's fast. He probably doesn't have uh, the skills that those other guys have. Or maybe what Saab has, but I don't know. He's a, he's a good finisher. Mm. Bring him on and, you know, if it's a blowout, you just keep blowing him out. But I don't know. Yeah. I, I, I'm not too uh, too fussed about the bench. I feel like he would go pretty good, to be fair. He'd be, um, <laughs> he'd be pretty tough to tackle. But whether we can find better... Would you have him on the bench, though? Nah, probably not. I feel like he's either the starting yeah, winger he'd be, or, he's starter, yeah. or out. So I like the Munster-Ponga combo. Yeah, fair enough. 22-23. Only person who misses out here, which is a bit of a travesty, is James Tedesco. Arguably being the best yeah. player in the game for the last uh, two or three years. Um, struggling a little bit with the Roosters at the moment, but... He's still an he's absolute. He's a genuine league. He doesn't fit in for this code. Yeah, that's sort of why I didn't pick him to start. I feel like couldn't really find a position for him. His lack of kicking. Yeah. His, I mean, his goal kicking. I plopped him on the wing. Yeah. Would you rather Ponga covering wing or <clears throat> Teddy? Ponga purely for his versatility. Okay. Munster and Ponga. Well, to start, I'd say Teddy. Yeah, fair enough. Everyone happy? Munster and Ponga. Speak now. Yep. Couple of nice names on the back of a jersey too. They'll go for plenty at the auction. Yeah, that was just the, the side deciding what one. Yeah, but <laughs> I mean Tedesco, maybe twenty twenty fourth man. James Tedesco could cover anyone. Travelling reserve. Traveling two two reserve. travelling reserves. Who, who who's the other one? Would need a Which Ford's missed out. You've got to take Radley as your travelling yeah, reserve. Yeah, it'll be Radley, yeah. You need him on Sunday. Okay, Victor and Teddy, they're in our squad. They're travelling. Gee whiz, that's a good side, boys. Man, we've come up with a side which I. How do you reckon that would go against um, in Super Rugby Trans Tasman with a year build up? Not bad. Not bad. Tough in the Aussie team. Golden gold Aussie scrums and if yeah, Golden gold. Aussie scrums and they win all their own lineouts, they'd be. Mm. They'd be um, maybe no malls either. How hard is it to learn like a lineouts? Chippy, like in twelve months, how tough of a skill is that from someone who's got no idea about lineouts? Oh, like you'd be able to figure out the basics, but I don't think you compete with yeah. the super team. Fair enough, and no, no way. it's a tough game when but you're like, not winning yeah. a lineout. And too. the mauling, it's the mauling and stuff that would kill them, I reckon. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> That's true. And What's the hardest part, Gabby? Like the the rucks and stuff, or is that tough to transition into? Yeah, just uh, I feel like it's a combination of everything, like. Um, you're playing off it's so flat like you're not used to taking a carry and then you know like and then getting tackled after 30 centimeters it's just yeah the whole thing's hard like when even on defense when you're looking up the pictures you're seeing are way different like you're not seeing like a guy with a with a lead and a back door you're seeing like a you know like four forwards and you don't really know which one's getting the ball and then they got a back door and then 20 meters away there's another pod like it's it's just a completely different picture, and mm. I think, yeah, I don't reckon they'd get it in a, in a year. They, I don't think they could compete, mm. even though physically it wouldn't be a problem, and that'd be good to watch. But just, I just, I don't know, you know, 
what do you reckon is easier to transition? Would it be easier to go from union to league or league to union? It would be easier to go from... Oh, probably it depends. I think if you're a back, you could probably go from league to union. Maybe not as first five, but, you know, the outside back midfielder. But probably equally, probably as a forward, it would be easier to go from union to league mm. because um, it's a bit more basic. It's just... It's more just about um, working hard and you know, just, just going hard and running tough lines. It's just a bit different. Oh, what do you have to be fitter for? League. League? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, yeah. But then again, like, that's not, I'm not, but I don't know, I'm, I'm not a, you know, I only play my film with my mates, but speaking of, you know, guys like Nani and that, they will, they will, they would say the same. That um, league is just, at the, at the top level, club, then, then if it's, you're comparing club, then New Zealand club rugby is the highest standard than New Zealand club league. But um, if you're talking about the top levels, then mm. rugby league, you know, you cover a lot more distance. So the forwards will be doing, you know, nine k games, things like that. So, Boy, so mm. it's just forward back, forward back, forward back. Get off. Fuck. The back and forward would kill kill you, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just I, I don't it's know. A non-stop bronco. Every you know, like unions hard in its aspects and, and leagues hard in its aspects, but mm. um, I think league fitness wise is, is, is tough. I, f- I feel like the lack of um, stoppages in league really make it harder compared to union. Like especially as a back, like you get when there's a scrum as a back, you often get two to three, sometimes longer minutes of rest to recover. Whereas in league, there's not really any stoppages. Eh, like they've got clocks on everything, dropouts and scrums and the ball's in place so much but I guess they get their rest briefly while um, the outside backs take the tough carries and they try and get the air in there but um, yeah like you said, it, I think it's different would definitely be tougher um, on the lungs. Yeah, yeah, you probably have to ask someone that's um, <laughs> that's played the, at top at both levels but I remember they I went to like a thing in 2010 and they were talking about the ball and play and this was back then super rugby was something like 21 minutes of the 80 minutes mm. the ball was in play um and the nrl at that time was 39 something like that mm. so i think that makes a bit you know it's double the amount of time in play and i think it would be, be even more yeah it would be, faster, it'd be way more now yeah. yeah it's like 70 and the kick battles in union eh? the forwards can just park up in the middle of the field and just wait for someone to kick it out <laughs> Or run it. There's no, there's you're no kick you're not to go in that. <laughs> <laughs> Who's parking up in the middle? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> okay, last thing we need to name our captain for our squad. No, Who's our captain going to be? Name the squad, bro. Tommy Turbo, Roger Tuvasa, Sheck, Latrell Mitchell, Jack Whiten, Josh Adokar, Nathan Cleary, Harry Grant, David Fafita, Cam Murray, Angus Crichton, Nelson, Azai Yao. Jason Talmalolo, Brandon Smith, Payne Haas. Cleary for me. Captain Cleary. He's definitely my captain and super coach, but captain to lead the squad, I'm happy with that. Anyone disagree? Yeah, no, I don't mind Captain Cleary. He's young. He's got plenty of years. Lead by example. Yeah. Run the car. I'd want Roger to be captain. Just From the wing. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, as a winger, you can't really do that, so go, mm. go Cleary, but... Maybe he can be. He'll be in the leadership group. Oh, he's definitely in the leadership group. group. He, he's a leader, isn't he? Jeez, what a lad. He is a lad. Um, cheers, boys. Appreciate you giving up your time and helping me select the squad. No worries, bro. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that wraps it up. <laughs> what a lad. <laughs> what a lad. <laughs> <laughs>